You make me laugh, Adam, which is weird because you're not really my type. Cue the axe murder music. Wolves, alphas, betas, debunking Evo psych. This is my jam. Stop acting crazy, that's my job. I concur with the clown floozy. <laughs> Woman, sort yourself out and sit down. I usually go for alpha males. What do you think an alpha male is? Mm, a confident, assertive leader who knows what he wants and always gets his way. A confident, assertive leader who knows what he wants and always gets his way. Story time. My father is my personal role model of leadership and he always gets his way. He never directly confronts anybody, but he has this ability to be so patient and so gentle about his goal that you don't even notice until suddenly you look at where you are and you realize, hey, he caught his way again. And actually, I'm, I'm okay with that. There are many ways to be assertive, Adam. Almost none of them are aggressive. He says things like, get swole and muscle milk and hi, I'm Vin Diesel. <laughs> this is bullshit, so I choose to ignore it. Oh, so like this guy. What up, freaks? Name's Alpha Adam. I'm confident, straight up banging, and if you think women don't love me, I'm gonna debunk the F out of that myth. Well, all of that is wrong. I usually go for alpha male. Confident, assertive leader who knows what he wants and always gets his way. Well, all of that is wrong. You know, a guy who simply is what that woman wants, rather than convincing her she's wrong for wanting it, actually seems less aggressive and also less snide, condescending, and slimy. Because alpha wolves don't exist. In fact, the term alpha wolf was disavowed by the very scientist who popularized it. While doing research in a national park, a wildlife biologist named L. David Meech seemed to observe that one wolf emerged as the dominant male. He wrote a book on the idea, and it became a media sensation. The idea of an alpha wolf was based on observations of captive, unrelated wolves. This point is really important to debunking Adam's conclusions. Because what does a bunch of unrelated wolves crammed together in a small space resemble in the human world? Cities. But 20 years later, Meech tried to replicate his research in the wild. Those aren't dominant wolves, those are mommies and daddies. When you take human beings away from their extended families and pack them in with unrelated humans, their behavior resembles the behavior of unrelated wolves in a situation of artificial population density, more than it does the behavior of free wolves in natural family groups. Wolves don't have an alpha hierarchy at all, they're just parents. I must alert the masses. Meech renounced the term alpha wolf and spent years trying to get his own book taken off the shelves. You haven't debunked the observation, Adam. What you've debunked is the idea that alpha males are an evolutionary adaptation to natural circumstances rather than a social adaptation to unnatural circumstances. Stop reading this. I beg you lies. Alpha wolves aren't real. It was too late. The term had taken on a life of its own, and we haven't stopped using it since. Since raising a family in the wild on a territory 50 miles square doesn't really apply to the average human lifestyle today, L. David Meech's observ observations of the behavior of captive and no doubt more domesticated wolves likely have more validity as a model for human behavior than that of wild wolves. In fact, if you look at the behavior of wild wolves, one of the interesting features is how often they kill each other. Well, not their fellow pack mates, although that does happen in dominant struggles, but strange wolves. 50% of wolf mortality is wolves killing other wolves. To give you some perspective, that means you'd have a one in two chance of being killed by another human being before you die of natural or accidental causes. If you're one half of a couple, statistically one of you would be dead by murder if you were wolves. Imagine living in, in a world like that, where every interaction with a stranger could lead to your throat being slit. That's the world of the wild wolf. Now, in the artificial environment of a cage, a naturally territorial animal might look to an alpha male to exert dominance and create an explicit hierarchy, because the alternative is to slaughter each other. And to a lesser degree, that's sort of true of humans too, at least in some areas of the world. In our world, with its high degree of urbanization and low tribalism that is in the West, instead of violent authoritarians, women tend to like men who are dominant in a social sense, 
funny, charismatic, with a little bit of a bite to them, as opposed to women in more violent societies who prefer men who can deliver lethal violence and authoritarians who can keep other violent men in line. Alpha wolves are just parents. Huh, I guess my therapist was right. I really do have daddy issues. So if a woman doesn't like you, she has daddy issues, Adam. This, this is what I look like when every cell in my body is trying to crawl away from the screen. Nah, nah, nah. Maybe there's no alpha wolves, but I know crap too. Alpha males are found in chimps, our closest genetic relatives. Weird. You are more aggressive than me, but also wronger. First of all, chimps aren't our closest genetic relatives. Bonobos are. Uh, bonobos are not closer to us genetically than chimps. And both most likely have a very limited use as models of human behavior because anthropologists are now speculating that our shared ancestor was themselves a pair bonder like us. And chimps and bonobos actually evolved behaviorally away from both us and the ancestor we shared with them. And bonobos live in a matriarchal society. Excuse me, you're in my way. <laughs> You're basic. <laughs> well, I'm just glad they didn't chew off his fingers because he pissed them off, Adam. Because Bonobo females really like to torture those male apes they consider socially subpar. Strangely, male chimps don't do the same to female chimps in their patriarchy. Also, just so you know, that dominant male chimps are also deposed by female chimps if they fail to lead to the female chimp satisfaction. In fact, males occupying leadership positions, but females choosing the males to occupy those leadership positions is very common to all hierarchical species, including our own. The alpha male is the most dominant, most aggressive bro, and that means he has first access to food, resources, and of course, mates. Exactly. Contrary to popular belief, in chimps, the most aggressive male doesn't always become the leader. Smaller, more mild-mannered males can actually become dominant by doing favors and obsessively grooming other chimps. You just said chimps are patriarchal. Now you're saying what? That patriarchies don't actually reward hegemonic masculinity? Your argument why I should be falling onto your penis is falling apart, Adam. I am the strongest, most aggressive male, so I am the alpha, now and forever. No, you're not. Can you move along your social sexual competition with yourself? You might be the dominant male here, but if you were playing... Which you're using as an attempt to prove that men don't compete with each other for top spots on the social sexual ladder. Uh, I attack with my sword. Your sword? You see a sword on your character sheet. Can you freak? <laughs> Still not done. <laughs> like animal, human society. Human, human, human society is much more complicated than that. Oh. Say that this guy is an alpha male or that guy's a beta male makes straight up zero sense. <laughs> Whatever, nerd. The most aggressive male gets the most aggressive tail. That whole like two guys in a bar bumping chess could get any more boring. Adam has managed to make competition between men even more boring. Actually, research shows that agreeableness, kindness, and generosity are among the strongest indicators of a long, happy relationship. <laughs> oh, eat my feet, those are beta traits. Huh, well then I guess betas are the alphas of love. <laughs> it's amazing, it's remarkable, Adam. And you've, you've managed to do it while being completely and utterly unaware of yourself. Enough lies. I am the alpha. I am your god. Leave Beta Adam alone. Why do I feel like I just walked into the dimly lit, sticky floored movie theater in Adam's subconscious called Adam's Spank Bank? You saved me. Also, just Adam is fine. <sighs> Wow, you really can't just let something be. You have to dominate every second. <laughs> you, you could actually learn something from pickup artists, Adam. If you actually read what they said, you'd know the best of them encourage men not to be dominant thugs. 
but to be socially confident, to see interactions with other men as not as opportunities for one-upmanship, but as opportunities to enjoy social interaction. Use salesmanship to package themselves, avoid becoming bitter at rejection, and practice the arts of being intriguing to women. Finally, pickup artists, rather than telling women what they should want, try to become what they see women wanting. Ironically, what I'm seeing you do is this, create your own hierarchy of manliness with yourself on top, explaining to other men why they should defer to you and your opinions, and women why they should desire you. Talk about missing the forest for the trees. Biologists and anthropologists now suggest the high degree of cooperation between human men as one of the defining features of us as a species. In other words, human males are selected for being cooperative with other human males. There are a number of women who like to spark competition between men over their sexual value, but this may be an artifact of our domestication, not our evolution, or maybe a throwback. And women who do this just have more primitive minds. Incidentally, you're actually trying to appeal to the kind of woman who wants a man who competes aggressively with other men over her interests. It's just that you want to define the playing field and the point system to score alphas. Your entire video was you competing with other men. Straw men, you made up, no less, for the effect, affections of a woman. Your entire video was you engaging in a pissing match. Alpha just means on top, Adam. This woman hasn't changed. You just successfully convinced her you're on top. You might as well call this video why Adam is alpha, according to Adam, and deserves to have his cock inside you. Finally, Adam, you've essentially said that human society isn't a patriarchy and doesn't reward men who act like thugs, and that dominant men are determined by what women desire. Well, you just dismantled feminism. Thank you. Do you like this content? If you do, and you should, you can go here to give me a tip. That's just me personally, and I'll do this more. Or you can go here to support the entire team because they deserve to eat too, presumably. How do I get my, where, where, where's the camera? I'm trying to, I'm trying to get the right angle for my boobs.